Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little better off in my... It's the last beep. The door opens. Hey, what do you know? A little <coughs> cargo cylinder came through. Looks like it. Strange he didn't contact us on the comm. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Turbo lifts are locked down manually, so I had him open the emergency well, hatch. Right. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Well, a Jedi's life is sacrifice. Besides, someone's got to save our skins. You're either really brave or really crazy. Or both. Alright, I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids. So don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Got it. I'll keep the comm See you open. soon. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. Don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though. We're going to find out. I've received a comm link. Light side points. Always good. Where are we going from here? Down to the left? I think so. I know we opened an emergency hatch somewhere, so we'll have to find where, the, where that hatch was. Oops, I ran the wrong way. I have no idea if this is the right way or not. I don't think it is. It's not the emergency hatch, is it? That's the docking door. I'm not going to be able to open it. Yarg, only if there's a ship there. Well, that's a good question. No, that's the emergency blast door. Is this the one they opened? No. What the heck is the place I'm supposed to get out of? Yeah, the emergency hatch. That's what I'm trying to find is the emergency hatch. I must have... I need to look on the map. Oh, okay, yeah, it's that thing back there. Okay, I'm herping and derping. Should have just checked the map in the first place. Alright, quick save. Zoning, please wait. Barely. There's a lot of static. There's a lot of interference down there. Probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragas fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. If you detect anything, signal me. Will do. And be careful down there. Copy that. Thankfully, we have stealth, which isn't perfect. Ooh. Find the emergency supplies. I did. There's some clothes in here. About time. The whole half-naked Jedi thing was wearing a little thin. But there may be some survey gear and a safety harness inside the crate too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Nice. Some kind of a mining energy shield in the crate, too. Yeah, it's like a military issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. It should work against the droid mining lasers. It won't last forever, and 
Certainly not against multiple laser hits. But it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Copy that. Got it, let's go. Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. Hmm, can I sneak by him? You could, if you have the skill in a stealth field generator. These droids rely on thermal sensors, primarily to detect fuel deposits. The good thing is, that explosion down there kicked up so much heat and steam it may blind them. A bit, but not much. I'll do that. Anything else? There's gotta be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Roger that. Never be afraid of the quick save. I don't think my stealth is high enough to stealth by all this stuff. I, I would be willing to bet, because I haven't put that many points in the stealth. But we're going to see what we can see. Let's go counterclockwise. Definitely a droid right there. Also one here. It doesn't look like there's anything I need to worry about too much yet. Can't get past that door. Reactivate the droid. I have six repair parts. Uh, uh, engage droid in patrol mode. Nice. Those are all the repair parts I have, so leave it alone. Alright, it's heading out of here to do what I told it, so it might get into this some fun. Alright, this is the one I have to remember. Disable mine. Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines down there. Don't run unless you have to. It makes them harder to spot. If you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. That is, if the mines don't get you first. I did if put points in demolitions. Safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Oh, I forgot about the gear, yeah. Understood, Jaren Floor out. I forgot about the... Um... Miner uniform. And... Heels mining shield. Like so, survey gear. Hang on. Why won't he, why won't they wear the Huh. I can equip those. Well, let me equip that for some reason. The survey gear. It's very odd. Alright, well, we'll quick save. This doesn't really bother me that much. Disable mine. There we go. It was just the there's the clicks aren't lining up the way they should be. All right, I got it. To, I got it to work now. Some ridiculous looking hell <laughs> headgear, man. All right, I sent that droid off down this hall. Is that my droid? It's 
So it's going ahead of me, and it's going to draw fire. Get some! Oh, there's still one more thing. Okay. I was like, what's going on? A maintenance droid. Ooh, I missed it. Do we have to use, like, uh... Okay, I was gonna say, do I have to use range to get to that? Can I turn stuff, like, alarms and stuff off? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Hey, watch out. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. Copy that. Understood. All right, so energy shield. I'm gonna need to come out of stealth for this. Turn this on. All right, go, 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 go. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Nobody's gonna come for me. Come on. Nobody wants a piece, daddy. Well, I guess I'll go back and, uh... Cover my mind. A couple more over here. I mean, oh, hold on. There's some remains there. I need to grab. Save. And we shall continue. Come on, you got this. Strike to a power attack. Oh, yeah! All right, I need to level up anyway, so let's go ahead and go level levelies. Level levelies! All right, skills. Let's see here. Do. One point in computer use. 
One point in persuade. One point in security. I got one point left. Let's put it into demolition. Hang on a second. How did I how did I miss demolitions coming up? I may have missed out on doing one of these. No, I have a main point, so let's just do... I still have two points and I can't take that up anymore. Oh, that's the maximum I can have it. I'm a noob. I'm sitting here like, why can't I do this any higher? Take that up uh, to six. Probably take... Uh, Let's see here. Computer use, security, electronic locking devices, computer use. Let's do the security. All right. Feats. Uh, heavy armor, please. I want to be able to use heavy armor immediately. Add feet. Powers. Uh, I can't take another rank of that. So that's a good question. Force aura versus speed. No, force valor. It's a universal power. Huh. These are all like temp buffs. All right, where's force push? I know I want force push. Add power. Okay, accept. Close. Now, where do I get to access my force powers at? Maybe I can't yet because I haven't leveled up. Jedi support. All right. You're getting close to something big. I think it's the main ventilation shaft. If so, the central droid controller should be somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out for it. I'm picking up a lot of droids. If you still have a mining energy shield, I'd equip it and switch it on. Understood. There's multiple droids no matter what. Should be able to sneak up to the middle to that computer, right? Yeah, let's loot the box first. Alright, security tunneler. What's up, Smeagol? You ready to go outside, buddy? Call up droid command functions. Um, I 
add droids to droid mining protocols so they eat each other no 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 Lo uh, return to mining droid commands yes want to go out okay let me open the door for kitty cat come on Functions, cancel all droid mining functions on organics, don't have enough spikes. Camera functions, emergency hatch, administration level, fuel depot, there's a droid there. Unidentified hollow record work, work claim. Everybody here? What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with him on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? So he's one of the survivors. Or worse, a Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. He's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If he's one of the Jedi, hell, we, we can't have him walking around here. He'll... Well, I don't know what he'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Narshida is still alive. Well, you want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Korda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Korda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. Don't tell them. Shut down containment fields. Nice. Log out. Oh, there's my force push. It shows up in my, um... Okay, cool. Which way do I need to go? I don't have to fight all these droids if I don't want to, right? I came from that direction. Where the hell am I supposed to go? There's doors and tunnels down each one of these things, so I'm just gonna have to go exp exploring. Nothing on that side, though. Shit. Force push. Shit, did they all see me? Might get a brief reprieve here if that other one just didn't follow me. I think we're okay. locked off area and then there's an open tunnel here oh I could probably go back to that computer and tell it to deactivate all the droids now because I got another computer spike let's go do that so I don't have to keep fighting droids uh, let's ignore that one should be able to go around yeah nope we're not gonna be able to go around He's going to see us when we try to get across that bridge. Frack. How did he not see me?
That seems impossible. Droid command count functions. Cancel all droid mining functions on organics. Continue. Woo! That was a chunk of XP. Did you see that? Oh, I can scavenge him for parts. Well, I know what I'm doing. Scavenge all these droids. When in doubt, scavenge. Scavenge everything always, whenever you can. Go away. Bad droids. No biscuits. Wow, well, I'm gonna have to fight these. Let's chuck a grenade. Why did, the, why did that one still want to attack me when I had told all the droids to calm down? Cardio regulator, that's interesting. We'll check that out here in a bit. That's probably a quick savable moment there. What's behind door number two, Bob? Hey, I'm picking up some strange readings. What are you doing down there? Stuff. time do I have? I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot real soon. Copy that. So many doorways and tunnels. Uh, let's see here. No, no, no. Hang on. Go back down. Just. You got it. Damn it, Max, but you can lock it. Open a sonic charge. Before we go any further, I did get some gear. I thought I saw it heads. Oh, that's what it was a cardio regulator. I'll take that for now. Yeah, that sounds good.
It's weird how the camera turns around each time I do that. I didn't on that one. Alright. Time for a quick save. Alright. Got an elevator shaft. Shaft! Oh, hello. Nice tumble, duck buddy. It is a pleasure to see you alive, Master, provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? You see a T3 unit? Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that, droid prejudice aside, T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. <laughs> but enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. Nice. Last thing in the hangar. Answer. Ah. Then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify that. Okay, maybe you can answer something else for of me. Of course. How do you know me? I'm not your master. Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Who was your previous master? Answer. The captain of the Harbinger, master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. What happened? Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. <laughs> We're not going to get any backstory here. Oh, why don't you tell me anyway? Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. How come I don't remember any of this? Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Capacitated? Clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. <laughs> what do you mean, drugged? Placation. Merely a turn of phrase, Master. The implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of Juma juice was unintentional. <laughs> I meant to communicate only that you I'm a were lush. somehow rendered unconscious before you were locked securely in the cargo hold. So someone locked me in. Clarification by locked. I meant sealed, Master. My vocabulator seems to be malfunctioning. Alright, what happened next? Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger's systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Interesting. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. 
I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. Most fortunate indeed. Lots of options here. An idea what to detect the small freighter. Evaluation. Master, I do not know. Judging from the damage, it had been attacked by a much larger vessel. And when it attempted to escape the Harbinger with you on board, it was fired on again. Addendum. It does seem odd that such a small vessel has a high probability of attracting the attention of much larger vessels. Not a welcome trait in a freighter, to be sure. To be sure. All right. All right, let's get out of here. HK Protocol Droid. Greeting. It is a... Okay. What's that body there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end. He was quite incoherent from the pain. An attempt to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. <laughs> All right. Any standing at the end? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. That's horrible. Alright, is he gonna follow me? Hang on, I gotta close the door. Alright, we're good. That door is sealed or something. Yeah. I don't know that I need to make anything. Protocol Joy's help I finish work on the Sonic Imprint sensor. Install the mind jar and pick up the original hair to prevent the other miners from using the ability. Man, I could I forgot I could make all this stuff. I wonder if the lightsaber is better than what I'm wearing right now. Let's make one. Can't make a lightsaber yet. One to ten. Oh, it's definitely better. Cool. Can I break down the other stuff? Break down items. There we go. Let's break down the short sword, driver blade. Uh. Data pad, data pad. Broken item. What's up, everybody? Commercial break here. I got to give a shout out to our guild champions. It's the highest tier membership here on YouTube. We got Ancient Entity, Crazy's Relative, and Remy D. Thanks so much for your support. And of course, to all of the members here on YouTube, thanks for keeping me on the air full time. If you do like what you see and hear on my channel, don't forget to not only like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, but please support. Consider me your Netflix, your Hulu, your Disney Plus, or HBO, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can do memberships here on the channel, starting at $3 a month. And of course, anytime you see me live or you watch a premiere, you can do super chats and stickers on those videos. And super thanks on any upload you see. 
which allows me to keep doing this full time and paying the bills. So from Chris and I and all of our rescue cats, we say thank you. Let's get back to the video at hand. All right, I think we're good. All right. I think we can go out the door here. I got poisoned. Oh, I almost died. Um, where's my health thingy? How do I use a health thingy? Remember how to use a health med pack. There we go. That's kind of gnarly. Could have ended up bad. Oh, there's definitely one all the way down there. Uh, let's go get it. And we'll come back down here. I probably need to turn my shield back on too. I forgot all about that. I forgot the shields were a thing in this game. And you kind of got to keep them on. Uh, let's get through the door. <sighs> That's not good. Not good at all. Chuck grenades, bro. And that mouse cursor thing is funky. I did blast it open with a mine. Cancel combat. Oh, it didn't register the mine for some reason. That's not cool. Do I reload? I don't remember the last time I quick saved was. And I don't have another mine. Oh well. At least there's no attacks of opportunity. Run around like that. Alright, level up. Attributes. Oh, you can. Okay, yes. Yeah, so. I think I'm gonna go Charisma for the. So I only have three now. Six and six. Let's take security up another. All right, so um, I don't know what I want now. Force push for a lightsaber. 
drain forest for screen mind trick. Yeah, let's take mind trick. Oh, I have to click add power, I forgot. Alright, we're good. Quick save. Is there a droid that's going to attack me? Alright. That force push worked really nicely on him. Look, Mom, I made it to the turbo lift. Through door number two, Bob. All right. Access maintenance logs. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specification. He's changed. from the trooper storyline in Star Wars: Old Republic. Workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi and Medbay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... <laughs> There's some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... Alright, voice print ID. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance and then did something to them? El calor de afuera. Right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Alright. Main console functions, subroutines, check for exits. Check the containment field. There's a breach. Trace the breach. Check fuel lines, check the other exits, check the turbo lift, turbo lift of mining tunnels, check airlock, um, comm system, run a diagnostic. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. It's weird how I got an option to destroy the console. Strange. Oh, I can't stealth if I don't have the, um, that's interesting, if I don't have the belt equipped. missing in here. Greeting. It is Found a T3 in one of the full fuel pipes. Query. Indeed. Master, how is it possible that a T3 unit got dumped in such a place? Like a piece of unwanted garbage? Thoughtful extrapolation. Perhaps it ran afoul of the other droids in this facility and was attacked. It is too bad that there is no way to reach the droid from here, Master. Otherwise, you might be able to determine what happened to it. I enter Narita. Chris. I, re I enter Narita. Alright, more questions for of you. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Good for way to the Pegasus ha Paragus hangar bay. answer. Oh. All right, we're gonna override codes. Answer. Only if he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, then he is trapped in the dormitory section. Okay, is it possible to contact him with a comm link? Apology. Unfortunately, communication with the dormitory section is severed, Master. If that were the case. The severed comm link would have spared us the satisfaction of hearing the miners' screams as they lived out their last moments in fear and terror. It's a little dark, bro. Must be another way. You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. All right. Well. Miners could be hurt, we gotta make sure they're alright. Warning. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. I'm gonna find those miners and you're gonna come help me. Weary resignation. Very well, Master. But there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. All right, so how do we get the code? Correction. Oh, I already possess the code, Master. But I am afraid that it will do you no good. Why is that? Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession. Conjecture. Mm. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. All right, but you do know the code. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, Master. The code is maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Hmm. You can mimic voices. Objection. Master. To commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. Ooh, I can persuade him. 
What would it sound like if you did speak the code of the console? I'm gonna attempt this. Proud answer. Master, I believe my vocabulator is working adequately enough to accommodate your request. This is why you take Rest charisma and points. Control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Yep. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Nope. Alright, so where's the door that opened? Hello. Oh, that was awesome. Force push him back. Take him out. Anything else in here? Didn't realize there was another door I could have used to get in here. Alright, uh, was it this door that I was going through? Yep. Alright. Well, from here, everybody, I think this is a good enough point to go ahead and make a stopping point for the second video here. Because we're already like an hour in. I'm going to try to keep these episodes down to an hour or less. So, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. And I'll catch everybody in the next episode as we continue our adventures through Knights of the Old Republic 2, Sith Lords, and find our way off of this ridiculous space station. Until then, everybody, stay safe. <laughs>